This is not just an economic collapse. This is a societal collapse. Are you ready for a cashless society and world communism? The purge about to play out in reality. Food shortages will happen when people run out of money. Also, the banking system is wobbling on the verge of collapse. When that happens, credit lines will freeze up, and what is left of the economy will come to a screeching stop everywhere. We are only nine meals away from anarchy. As extreme wealth inequality has left households unprepared and without a cash buffer to weather the economic downturn. The banks are failing. Don't pay attention to that, look at this virus. And with the Fed and IMF buying all the MBS, who do you think will own all the real estate? 3% of all American restaurants have closed permanently so far. Promised relief failed to materialize in time. While hedge funds got bailed out right away. It's all by design, the shift from cash to digital fiat cashless societies is upon us. Most will be forced to shop online as the outside world becomes deadly. What we are witnessing is the globalist attempt at controlling the world, with fear. America is gone, and a new tyrannical system has replaced it. Too bad most Americans are too ignorant to know it. This was a perfect cover to prepare for martial law style shutdowns across the country. People as they sit in quarantine, as they lose their jobs, their homes, their pensions, their businesses and all this, I think they're waking up at the fact that they're being screwed. This has been what these assholes have been stalling for all along with these BS checks. Trying to stretch people to their absolute limits. We are already there, shit will hit the fan next weekend guaranteed. I bet a whole bunch of people disappear with the virus this week. At this point, what conclusion can you draw? Who in their right minds thought we could go over a month with no income? They are trying to incite the riots and looting. The average person is getting screwed, no other way to put it. Gun sales already hit their highest in history. If the virus doesn't get you, the economic unrest it has caused will. Wait until metro areas melt down, and it's a war zone. Gunshot victims will quickly outnumber C-19 deaths. Get the hell out now if you can. We can't expect the government to fix this. At some point, people got to go back to work. The longer we are at a standstill, the worse things are gonna be going forward. Businesses are closing for good, people are squeezed, and a lot of useless people have been taught they should live like a doctor or lawyer with none of the work. There is a tipping point, and if we reach it, parts of this country will turn into Vietnam, I believe. There are a lot of militias out there. Two-thirds of the country is not prepared for this. We are a few weeks out before marauders start going door to door looking for food. America made a huge mistake in rewarding people for doing nothing, feeding their kids, and teaching them to expect the government to take care of them. Wall Street hogs also feed at the dumbed-down public ed trough, they skim off all that criminalized bond money used to construct and maintain multi-million dollar, Taj Mahal-style admin buildings, sports complexes, and prison-like classrooms. The masses should prepare for worst-case scenarios and not just a recession. You should not be scared of a virus but of your next-door neighbor if he is jobless broke and hungry. A hungry man is an angry man. Desperate people do desperate things. The veneer of civilization is pretty thin. The shutdown of the economy was planned for the bankers' transition to cashless, digital totalitarianism. South Korea has their situation under control. Business is open and running. So what's up with that? If you keep your pH at 7 plus, vitamin D 100 plus, vitamin C daily, wear a mask when shopping, you have nothing to worry about. These political hacks we elected have screwed up big time. Should be fired. In the winter of 2018, 80,000 Americans died from the flu, but there was no panic, nothing shut down and not a word from the fake news media, why? The elites will make this last forever. No matter how obedient the public is, the lockdowns and loss of freedoms are meant to continue indefinitely. The way this is collapse rolling out using the virus as cover seems surreal. The power that be are literally telegraphing what they are doing for anyone paying attention. They want a gigantic crisis to justify their gigantic treason. In three weeks, continuing on this trajectory, the world will be on fire. There is too much evidence from the past of the cabal pushing the New World Order supremacy system. Their fake news propaganda is running on all cylinders to distract the sheeple. They want to take away all our rights, and the virus and financial collapse are the perfect covers. What were the odds that just at the toppling nest of debt everywhere, there's a financial crash and pandemic? 
The dollar is going to be worthless any minute. Kiss your money and freedom goodbye. This is a takedown of capitalism to usher in communism worldwide. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you. The government wants everything digital so they can get a piece of every transaction made. That's the end game, total control of every dollar. Pennies for the working man and boatload of money for billionaires and fat cat corporations. The manipulation of the economy is epic. The best investment you can make is to invest in yourself, food and security. The National Guard is out here guarding the toilet paper. Because while the rich are stacking gold and silver, the poor are stacking on toilet paper. The commercial paper market for metals should be outlawed. It's just another way to manipulate a market that should stand on its own merits. Paper silver and paper gold have got to go. Gold is God's money. Americans and others need to realize that their current idea of the economy is equated with the Federal Reserve private bank are false and injurious. This monster parasite has wrecked our country and is eating us alive. The dichotomy between supposed sovereign countries being separate, but in reality, being run by international bankers and their international corporate brothers always seemed untenable. I got my confirmation when The Guardian published the WikiLeaks Podesta email that Obama's entire cabinet was selected by bankers before he was even nominated. California Governor Gavin Newsom said Wednesday that the state had seen 1 million unemployment claims in less than two weeks as the pandemic has led to businesses being shut down across the state. Welcome to life in America circa 2020. No weddings. No funerals. No Trump rallies. No Easter services. No churches. No sports. No concerts. No nothing. Close everything but the liquor and gun stores, then make everyone stay inside for two months. This is exactly what the globalists are hoping for. An excuse for martial law. This is manufactured panic. If the economy stays shut down then everyone is broke and the old rules are gone. So why would anyone continue to think that the law still exists? We do not have capitalism anymore. We have survival of the fittest for the lower 90% net worth individuals. While the top 10% net worth gulped down $4.5 trillion of printed Fed cash. And the one congressperson that tried to point this out was pilloried by the mainstream media. The welfare recipients have come out on top and are a lot smarter than I ever gave them credit for. Hardworking folk who have lost their jobs and have no income to look forward to besides that $1,200 magic check are screwed. Welfare recipients, on the other hand, continue to receive all of their benefits without missing a beat. You can give people all sorts of paper, money, but if it doesn't buy anything, it is useless. In the last Great Depression, there were plenty of goods to buy, but no one had any money. In the next Great Depression, everyone will have lots of money, but it won't buy anything. This is exactly what was and is happening in every socialist country around the world. Except for China, which is a globalist socialist experiment. Yes, they will be riot and loot. With no one processing food, we will all be hungry. Not just the inner city. Suburbanites have to eat too. You gotta do what you gotta do. Send the National Guard. People can eat them. Just wait until they turn EBT off. All hell will break loose from sea to shining sea. A pandemic running rife. A medical system on the verge of collapse. A mainstream media driving people into a frenzy of panic. 300 million people. 300 million guns. 30 million unemployed. A myriad of racial, wealth, and cultural divisions. What could possibly go wrong? This country is in the stages of becoming a real powder keg in urban areas. As the country's urban populations go full feral. Venezuela was to show us what was coming. We are led by self-serving halfwits and malignant narcissists, living off the proceeds of an ongoing financial crime spree. Will there be unrest? You betcha. Hell, we are only one week, one week into this shelter-in-place deal. Wanna see some real crap storm, just wait until the delivery drivers refuse traveling into high-risk areas like some inner cities. Scared of the virus, trucks attacked, and millions of hungry people who think there are or will not be repercussions for scavenging out in the suburbs. 
where they will then find a well-armed population fed up to their hair follicles with this give me, or I take it attitude. Once the city dwellers get hungry, all bets are off. My advice is to spend at least an hour a day with your significant others, planning for the worst. Calmly. With resolve and determination. Plan for the worst and be pleasantly surprised, not caught between a rock and a hard place. Here's a tip for you, buy an RV or a worthless patch of the desert somewhere. It will be the most valuable thing you ever bought. Don't just sit there waiting for a friend. There's still time to get things rolling towards survival. It's only going to get worse. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a small donation. Thank you.